What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So I got my Khaleesi 1 4th by Prime 1 Studio statue in, although I only got two out of the three boxes, which is super annoying. I absolutely hate when they don't do that. They're all part of the same shipment, yet one did not get delivered. Uh, it was just stuck in my city. Uh, so this is the Dragon Box. Now I'm not going to do a full-fledged really unboxing. I'm just going to show you the parts, how it gets set up, and review it. So here's the dragons, all three of them. This box was actually very light. Uh, that's the box it came in, so quite big. And then there was another smaller box that Khaleesi and the, some of the base parts came in. But all three dragons, I checked them and they look absolutely fantastic. I love the detail, they're bigger than I expected. I thought they'd be much smaller to be honest. So they're actually about double the size I thought they'd be. So very pleasantly surprised how awesome they look. Uh, here's some of the parts that was in the other box for Khaleesi. Uh, this, you know, a dragon will sit on top of this. You know, it just needs to be pegged in. This is goes in the back where something will go up top. And then this is just a decorative item. Uh, I really love the scene choice they chose for this. Now here is the Khaleesi 1 4th. Alexa, turn on home theater statue lights. So she just sits here uh, on this chair. She doesn't peg in and the chair has a peg, but it's not like a slot. Uh, so when I first got Khaleesi, this dress was actually over the belt. And so I put it on the inside because that's how it's supposed to look and made it look all proper. So the couch was heavy and felt high quality. It feels like real fabric right here. She has real fabric dress. The shining star of this is that portrait, though. I think Prime One nailed it. It is not perfect likeness to Amelia Clark, but it is extremely good. They actually have real eyelashes on her face. The eyes are incredibly well painted. There is definitely some likeness. I'd say it's probably about 80%. Now, look at that side portrait. Do you see Daenerys Targaryen? I mean, you can definitely see it in some angles. So it is a little bit bigger than I thought, not the one fourth, but just the overall size so far. I, mean, I know the base is gonna be massive. I'm curious and afraid it might not fit here in this spot I allotted. I already pushed the bust to the left, you know, and I got that wall mounted. I uh, wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I should probably get the base tomorrow, I'm assuming. Here is a booklet it also came with and actually talks about how to set this up, as you can see. So, I'm really excited for this. So far, it's absolutely fantastic looking piece. I may actually even just keep this on the Lazy Susan so I can rotate it as need be. I feel like I'd like to rotate this. <laughs> Uh, you know, and I got these extra lights here. Next to the bust, I think they look fantastic together, actually. They really complement each other. Now, I know Infinity Studios is coming out with a Khaleesi bust, and as long as it could fit, I would definitely buy it. I mean, granted, I would just, I'm probably going to buy it 99%, as long as the likeness is there. If they don't know the likeness, I won't buy it. But if the likeness is there, then I'd spend the four grand to get it, and I'd probably just move this to a more dedicated open area. But if they don't know the likeness, I just keep my silicone I got. Granted, the likeness is not really there on mine. I don't really see Amelia Clark at all. Just a cute blonde with three dragons and three dragon eggs. This one, I do see a little bit of likeness. Like I said, it's some angles more than others. But I do think together they complement each other quite well. And it looks really good to represent Khaleesi. So, uh, you know, and that's one of the main things I loved about Game of Thrones. Having watched it two times, Daenerys Targaryen is definitely my favorite. I do hate how they kind of ruined her at the end, but she was so awesome for seven seasons that, you know, it's just hard not to love her. So, yeah, so far I'm absolutely loving this statue. It's bigger than I thought. It looks awesome. Let's check out the back of the couch, actually, because it looks like you got two pegs and claws right here, so the dragons climb into the couch. And the couch does look like a real couch. It looks very high quality. So let's just uh, get the base in and get it set up.
Alrighty folks, so I got the third and final box for Khaleesi Fine Light. So the two original boxes arrived Saturday. This one arrived Tuesday, yet it hit my city same time as either. So I don't know why it took that many additional days, but it's finally here and it's just the base. That's all it is. I almost wonder why they couldn't have just made one of the other boxes bigger and put this on the bottom as another layer. I feel like they should have. Probably would have made shipping cheaper. It is quite heavy and it's huge as you can see, but let's uh, start getting this set up. Very excited. Alrighty, and also in addition to the base under it, there's a styrofoam layer with this and the plaque. Uh, so now we have everything we need to start setting this uh, bad boy up. Look how big that base is though. That's huge. Alrighty, so here is the base. As you can see, it's freaking huge. And it actually only sticks off about not even a finger's length so i'm fine with this so we'll go ahead and start getting it set up uh probably do khaleesi last and start with uh the dragons and the base parts Alrighty, so here is three base parts uh i know the dragon one dragon will go here i believe maybe on there and then the post will go right here and we put the dragon there so so far they'll fit great and there you can see it and here is this post. I gotta say, this looks really nice. I love the gold accent, the Targaryen uh, like logo plaque or whatever. It looks really fancy. I'm definitely digging all these different props. They really add a lot to the display. Alrighty, folks, so we got the dragons installed. Now, this is an absolute pain in the freaking butt to get installed. One, these dragons don't fit perfectly good. When you're inserting this one, it hits right there. Uh, in addition, this one uh, expands the width. This expands the depth substantially. You saw at the beginning, I only had this over a finger. Now look at it, because I needed that extra depth for that one. And this one, holy shiz, was so hard to get on. A, the pegs did not match up. It was off by about half an inch. I had to use a heat dryer, a heat gun, you know, a hair blower, and heat up both legs. And then eventually I was able to move each leg so at least the front of the pegs got in. And then I had to continue heating it uh, for the fingers so they wouldn't get broken. Now, not all my dragons are mint. Uh, this one looks like a damage right there. Sorry about that, got interrupted. But yes, yeah, so two of my dragons have tiny bit of damage. A little chip right there. And then he also has a chip right there on his tail. Uh, not too bad. This one, I could probably paint that brown or just deal with it. It's not huge. Uh, as you can see, it's very little distracting. Uh, I know my retailer who I got this through would never get me a replacement part, even though he says he would. There's no way I'd get a replacement for either of these dragons. Plus, they are such a pain in the butt to get on. Even this one, his wing was hitting this and I just did not like the sound of it uh, as it was going in. It's extremely just like seriously. So big hassle really to get these dragons on it, which I wish they uh, constructed them better. Uh, this one by far the most though. This one probably went in the easiest, uh, but two of them have issues. This one, uh, I did get him pegged in all the way and no damages on him. So he actually has no damage, but he was the hardest to get in. But outside of those issues, let's check out this whole statue. So it's freaking humongous. As you can see, it has a monster presence and base. Definitely something you're going to want to display higher up. You wouldn't want to tuck this away in a you know bottom shelf or anything like that. It's a gorgeous looking statue. So you have this giant base and it has this gold accent along it. And then this extra part where you can either put Khaleesi's dress or you can uh, even put this plaque right here. This plaque is movable, so you can really put it how you want. And it just says Game of Thrones, Daenerys, Targaryen. If you have not seen this TV show, I absolutely recommend it. Uh, Khaleesi, Daenerys, Targaryen, Amelia Clark did such a fantastic job uh, in that show. She's the reason I loved Game of Thrones. Seen it twice all the way through. So you really have those three parts of the base. You got this, just like this gold, uh, almost probably like a water fountain you could wash your face in. This one has a treasure chest. Very nice. You know, this was a scene where she was being given lots of 
you know, gold and from people wanting to join her side. She had her three dragons. These are more like teenage dragons, not truly baby. Like uh, these ones are baby dragons, like they're just born. This is more like teenager. Uh, the dragons look fantastic. They have a glossy paint. They look really well done. You know, like the wings, you know, like compare that to that one. You know, this is much more detailed, better paint job. The faces look better. Uh, all three dragons look amazing. They have good, really good presence. Uh, this is the only one with the mouth open. But the dragons do look absolutely fantastic. You know, big wingspan, but they tried to close them so they weren't really open. You know, like these ones, two of them are open, where these ones are all like more or less closed in, which definitely helps for space. I wish this one didn't uh, have such depth because that depth of that wing really makes it hard to display. I would have much preferred if this didn't hang off so much, although for the most part, it's mostly just that. So I could bring the shelf forward and have it hang back more, but I don't know if I want to do that. I don't think this bugs me enough uh, to do that. This piece has a ton of presence though, wow. Uh, I'm very, very much... Uh, impressed with this statue. It's huge and incredible. Uh, I can understand why Prime 1 charges $1,200 for this. Uh, you have a lot going on. You have three amazing, sick-looking dragons, a pretty amazing base. It's huge and detailed, and I love all, you know, the Daenerys Targaryen thing there, this gold chest. Even that's just cool. So all fantastic. The couch, uh, I believe this is real. It feels like a real material. It doesn't feel sculpted. This is sculpted. But this feels like a real couch. And it just has an indent for her butt and hand. Uh, she does not peg in. I wish she pegged in. I am not a fan of statues just sitting on something. Because if an earthquake happened, she would fly off instantly. And there's not really a good way to secure her. I couldn't really use putty because it might ruin her dress. So unfortunately, if an earthquake happens and it's a, a big one, she's toast. So everything else would be fine. That would flap. Although I could easily putty this down. No problem. And Khaleesi does not weigh a ton either. So unfortunately, I just don't like the way that she uh, doesn't peg in or have a magnet at least at her butt. I wish that they would do that. Now she is fully sculpted polystone. Her head is made of PVC to give a more lifelike effect. The likeness is probably about 75% in my opinion. I think it's pretty good at some angles, some others it's not. The hair looks fantastic, the little braids, the eyes are incredible. Uh, they actually did real eyelashes for her eyes, and eyes are very well painted. So it definitely has a way better face and likeness than my bust does. The hair looks fantastic. The just general skin tone looks great. You can see her hand, this one with the ring. You know, it looks very, very well done. You can even see her feet here. You know, it's like, you can see everything. So it looks really well done. There is no nipples, in case you were wondering, filling around her boobies. Although it almost looks like it, but I don't feel much. Uh, and then this necklace, I know there's this neck seam. Uh, you can't adjust this. It's not a huge deal. It, for the most part, it does cover it. It's... I, I'd even notice that, so it's not a huge deal. Overall, uh, I would probably rate this 9 out of 10 overall as a whole statue. I think some of the parts could have gone better. I think Khaleesi should have had uh, some sort of peg going into the couch to more properly secure her. And I think the likeness could have been slightly better. I think it's very good, but it could have been slightly better. Overall, it's definitely an absolutely fantastic piece and one of the best 1-4 scale statues uh, I've seen, to be honest. It's really incredible presence and just awesome. These dragons really added so much to it. So you can just see next to my silicone bust, next to Jack Sparrow, how this looks in the hallway. Uh, I'm definitely really digging this. It sucks I had to wait so long to get this because my retailer just took literally for ever and it drives me absolutely mind-boggling crazy and then of course i had to have at least a few issues why wouldn't i so it's definitely extremely frustrating with this retailer and unfortunately i have too many pre-orders with them and i can't cancel them 
Luckily, with Big Chap, he let me transfer it to a different statue, so I ordered Big Chap Direct so we could get him much, much quicker. I'm going to email him about this, but I'm very confident he's just going to say $50 refund, uh, partial, and that's it. And I'm going to ask for the money, because last time he said he'd give me a partial, he said he'd apply it to an order, and he didn't apply it. I had to dig through and find the email to show it to him, because he's very forgetful and unorganized. But yeah, anyways, this piece is definitely absolutely fantastic. I do highly recommend it. It's very special. It's a special piece. It definitely is not your average PF or one fourth. You know, I think it's better than Alita, for example, or even the GI Joes, who are other prime one one fourth that are absolutely fantastic. I still think I like Khaleesi more than all three of these. Or let me think of my other one fourths. We got Dante. I think Dante is probably on par with her. Dante is one of the better one fourths I've received from Prime One. The Turtles are all fantastic, but I do like her more. And let's see, is there any other one fourth P ones I got? Yeah, I would say this and Dante are my two best Prime One one fourth scale statues. Uh, there's just so much going on with the dragons, and the Khaleesi sculpt is just so good. So number one tied as best one fourth from Prime One Studios. I think it's better than Dark Side, who I'm selling. Uh, there's just so much going on. Just a sick looking statue. Very, very impressed. So definitely jump on this. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.